Yeah, so this is an Asus ZN2424G. It actually doesn't sound right now that I'm saying that out loud. Yep, that is exactly what it is. It's a 242G. So same as before, we are going to take our screws out of our bottom. First thing actually we're going to do, we're going to do, which we should always do, is take, take the base off. So we don't end up in a situation where it just wants to pull itself apart unintentionally. Why are you not coming apart now? Oh, why me? There we go. All right, base is off. Now let's get the rest of these screws out. Along the bottom, there are five screws. Two. Three. Uh, all right, so we got one, two, three, four. We got all four screws out. Now, the way that this thing is made, the front of this comes off. I remember this. And then here's our actual computer. So, second part of this is we need to remove all of the screws holding this, all of these black screws to, are all of these screws to the black plastic? We gotta get all those out. What's going on, Twisted? There are quite a few screws on this one. I hope the, uh, I hope your situation isn't too serious. All right, and we have to remember that all we have all of these screws. One of them is different. The one up top is a silver screw, so we just got to make sure we keep that off to the side. Hey, and this will be one thing when I actually make this video that we'll be able to really see the audio difference between She's she's my friend who just had a uh, who just had a child, Emily. I've talked about her on stream before. So, all right, now that we have this off, we are going to check to see the one that we got shipped to see if it is. If it is the correct one. And there we go with our fresh New York air. All right. So unfortunately, this is one of those situations where I, I can't test this screen without partially putting this back together. So what we're going to do is we're just going to assume this is going to work and we're going to put it back together. And if it doesn't work, well, then we take it apart. So all the screws are now going to go back in. And then we go from there. So screws in. Our so we're going to go ahead and put our silver one in right at the top so I don't forget. Like I'm going to do my best to try and get this thing semi put back together without plugging it in all the way or without putting it all the way back together. But thankfully this doesn't have a lot of screws compared to some of the all in ones that I've, I've dealt with. And it actually is kind of designed to come apart 
compared to some of the other all-in-ones that I've had to deal with. Okay, so we're gonna gently set this down. Oh, I'm just looking at, there's something else I need to do here. So on the back of this bad one, we have these little adhesive pads that go in specific places to just generate a little bit of cushioning. And we just, I wanna transfer those over. So that's, we, we give it the safety margins that it kind of needs. So just those four is all I'm really worried about. All right, now for the actual computer. So first we have our touch connector all the way over here on the left. Just in, we have our touch connector two. And by touch connector two, I mean the webcam. And then we have our actual video connector. Man, this is, this is just awkward to do. Everything's lined up. That's in there. Never thought I would, these words were gonna, would come out of my mouth, but thank you, Asus, for making a product that is actually incredibly repairable by like a user. Like I, I could give this to my mother to do and she'd be able to do this. And that's like a bar that I use. Like if something's complicated, like it, it can be super overly complicated, but if something is simple, like anyone should be able to just pick up some simple tools and get it fixed. And this is definitely one of those. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. We got a logo. Let's see if we get to the, oh yeah, this is, this is looking good. Beautiful. All right. And we have touch. And we are out of here. So let's go ahead and get this unplugged. We need to verify our, we're not in there all the way. And we're gonna lay it like this. I need to get this off of here first. Go. And next. is making sure that this bottom panel down here lines itself all the way back up and that the top of it isn't separating like that, which is what I was worried about. All right, so we need to undo this. So you can see, this is one of the more difficult things about putting this back together. So you see these holes that are here on the inside, there are clips that line up with those holes that need to be that need to be like gently massaged into place. I'm gonna pick this up to do it because I don't want to put too much vertical pressure on this. One spot, there we go. I had one spot that wasn't cooperating. We're gonna go along the sides, same way. We're like, we are definitely, one thing you don't wanna do is grab this and then squeeze this way. Oh, thank you, Emily. I'll do that momentarily. And now we're gonna look at our bottom here. Same thing. Make sure everything's lining up. We're gonna get our screws in here. One. Two.
two. Three. There's the screwdriver. Go ahead and make sure that's in there. And there we go. Lastly, we put our base back on, even though we actually did not need to take the base off at all. Like I said, it's just the, the thing I like doing. There we go. We lift, we set, power, check this seam again. This seam's looking great. Press our power button, and we are greeted with a beautiful photo. We got everything. Use a dry cloth to wipe this off. And there we go. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.